What's up y'all? I'm out here at the range as you can see. Been out here having some fun doing some testing today. It's pretty much the end of the day. I'm losing my sunlight but I wanted to take some time for one more thing to check out this little Phoenix Arms 25 ACP. Whew, that one scared me a little bit. Let's go check this thing out. All right, y'all, let's take a quick look at this thing and then we'll run some more mags through it. So like I said, what you're looking at here is the Phoenix Arms HP25A chambered in 25 Auto. Now this is absolutely nothing special. The reason I picked this up is because I wanted to do some jelly testing with some 25 Auto. I had been on the lookout for maybe a used little Beretta tilt barrel at the pawn shop or my local shop, but nothing ever showed up and you can get these things so cheap. I figured what the heck, I might as well grab one and see just how bad this thing is because phoenix arms is is basically an offshoot of one of the old ring of fire from i believe a raven arms or they're, they're all offshoots of the jennings thing when one of them goes out of business uh, another one pops back up uh, known as like the ring of fire saturday night special type of little things so obviously they don't have the best record as far as quality but like i said i figured what the heck for 150 bucks is what you can get these things for it's got to be worth that if i can get a few tests out of it so what you got here is a hammer fired single action only it is a fixed barrel so as you can see your slide reciprocates there but your barrel doesn't tilt so fixed barrel design just direct blowback now this thing's got more safeties and and manual of arms on it than i've ever seen in my life it is clear now on fire you can't remove the magazine you got a mag lock there once you put it on safe you can remove the mag once you do that this thing is done there's nothing you can do with it you can't move it off a safe you can't cock the hammer you can't do anything with this thing once that mag's dropped now once you put your mag back in when it's on safe you still can't rack your slide once you get it off safe you can as far as the slide it's super easy to rack like this however the hammer spring is what's going to get you so you got to cock that hammer obviously since it's a single action only and then on top of this mag block safety you got a firing pin block here now this right here is in safe you have to rotate it up with which is very stiff and that right there is in fire as far as the trigger pull on it it's really not too terrible i mean it's nothing to write home about the reset i barely heard a click right there the reset's pretty bad i don't even know if y'all be able to hear it let me see if i can get close i think you heard that little click right there you can't feel it at all and it's just barely audible now it did come with one single stack magazine it's a nine round so you got nine plus one here this is a three inch barrel on it and the entire thing is made out of that zamac the uh, zinc alloy stuff the frame and the slide and all is made out of zamac as far as your sights on it you do have an adjustable rear sight adjustable for windage and then you've got the fixed blade on the front but really that's about all there is to say about the thing like i say nothing fancy just an inexpensive little 25 small as you can see it's a two finger grip there now they do have a base plate you can put on there to get your pinky on i don't know if you can get a full pinky but just a small little 25 like i said my only purpose of this was to do some testing with it so should be interesting to compare it against some other calibers if y'all hadn't seen a 25 i know a lot of people probably never even seen a 25 here's an example of it next to a 22 lr case you can see the case length is the same now obviously the diameter is a little bigger and then here it is by a nine mil i mean it makes a nine mil look like a 500 magnum or something but all i'm going to do with it today is just run some fmj through it just to make sure it functions so far the first few rounds were right on right where i was holding uh, i've got some of this 50 grain pmc bronze fmj and some 50 grain ppu now the velocity on this stuff is saying 750 and i can tell you it's only a right around that because i chronoed it before i went and tried to get that boom boom and i really didn't think that boom boom was going off because that's lower than the velocity it says now i was way up close so that's probably the only reason it did go off but like i say i'm just going to test a few mags out of it maybe try to pop a little uh, two liter or something like that and see how it runs all right i got us a full mag of nine fmj's loaded up here uh, only thing i'm going to be running today is 50 grain fmj's like i said so i'm going to put these nine right there in the center of that uh, little circle in the middle of this 10 yarder right here i'm going to try to go slow just to see where this thing's grouping at See what we get here. Whew, I mean, that was right on the right on that red dot.
Ah. I think I'm pulling them low. They're so small, I can't even see them. Was that nine? Nah. That was, wasn't it? Yeah, that was all nine of them. Let me go see where them things hit. All right, that wasn't too bad right there. My main concern on this thing out here today is function, and so far it's been absolutely flawless. And that right there, out of nine rounds, three of them were outside around the edge of the circle, but the rest were inside of it at 10 yards with this thing, so I ain't complaining too much. Let's stretch it on out. Let's go to 25 and see what I can do. Got a feeling it's gonna fall apart here at 25. Yeah. That was me, that first one. That was it. That was all nine. I missed that first one, but that was totally me. I was actually holding low. I'm going to tell you right now, for 150 bucks at 25 yards to hit eight out of nine, I ain't complaining a bit. Let's see if we can get lucky and get another boom boom to go off at these low speeds. I ain't feeling real confident about this one. Well, I got wet and didn't even get no boom boom. That one was my fault, y'all. I hit about an inch high of the boom boom on the can there. So let's try to take it out on this piece of steel. That's more like it right there. All right, y'all, I believe I'm feeling a couple little sprinkles, so I'm gonna run one mag of this FMJ for today, and then I'm gonna call it a pass so far. Like I said, my main concern was running this thing for reliability. Honestly, I expected it to be a jam-o-matic out here, but not one single failure at all so far. It's done a whole lot better than that high-point carbine did, that's for sure. But let's just run this nine out here. I'm just gonna run them at random. That was all nine, didn't miss a single one out to 25. Like I said, I can't complain one bit about this little thing right here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna call it right there for what was a very surprising first outing with the Phoenix Arms HP-25A. Like I said, I expected the worst out of this thing. I'll just tell you, I expected it to be a jam-o-matic. I expected it to act just like that high-point carbine did from the very first mag, jamming, failure to feed, failure to extract, whatever kind of failure, but it absolutely proved me wrong. I mean, y'all saw it out here. Not one single failure of any kind from these cheap FMJs. Not only the reliable ability and functionality but the accuracy out of this thing was actually pretty impressive if you ask me for a little old small thing like this that i can't even get a full grip on to be pretty successful out to 25 yards like i said i can't complain about that one bit but let me know what y'all think about this little phoenix arms is this something that some of y'all out there have uh do you have the 22 lr version of it if you do have one of them what kind of success have you had with it have you had any kind of problems let me know in the comments what you think about them if you did enjoy the video Video, reach down and hit that thumbs up if you would make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you've got those notifications turned on so hopefully you don't miss anything when i upload it if you're doing some shopping take a second and check out my affiliate links in the video description if you shop through amazon hit up that storefront link down there you'll go right through amazon just like normal from there and anything you buy after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel same deal with those axle links if you're in the market for some really nice ear pro hit up those links down there and you can save a pile of money instead of going straight through their site like i always tell you i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel like y'all do by watching these videos hitting that thumbs up leaving me those comments down there all of that stuff really does help so i really appreciate that i've already got a couple of ideas to test this 25 but let me know down in the comments if y'all got anything else in mind you'd like to see this tested against lots of really good stuff headed y'all's way and i've actually got some plans for something that i think is going to be really really interesting out here so be on the lookout for that and in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.